President-elect Trump against hiring Mike Flynn as his national security advisor. Why did he ignore that warning? Well, I, I, the President doesn't disclose details of meetings that he has, which in this case was an hour-long meeting, but it's true that the President made it, President Obama made it known that he wasn't exactly a fan of General Flynn's, uh, which is frankly shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that given that General Flynn had worked for President Obama, was an outspoken critic of President Obama's shortcomings, specifically as it related to his lack of strategy confronting ISIS and other threats around uh, that, that were facing America. So the, the question that you have to ask yourself really is if President Obama was truly concerned about General Flynn, why didn't he suspend General Flynn's security clearance, which they had just reapproved months earlier? Are you hearing yourself speak, Sean? How can this guy just keep getting out there and blaming President Obama for Mike Flynn of all people? Very early on, they presented that narrative that Michael Flynn's security clearance had been approved just last April by the Obama administration. And now it comes out that President Obama had specifically warned Donald Trump not to hire Mike Flynn, and he did it anyway. And then Sean Spicer gets out here, and instead of backing down, or even providing some reasoning, you'll notice he doesn't answer the question. He doesn't say, oh, you know, Trump took Obama's statement under advisement, but was, like, very confident in Mike Flynn for X or Y reason. No, he provides no reason why Trump would have any confidence in Mike Flynn, and he just tries to say that Obama's recommendation seemed political rather than a genuine recommendation. And then Trump goes ahead and ignores it, and then he comes back to pin the blame on them for giving Flynn a security clearance, as if that takes away any responsibility the Trump administration has to vet senior-level White House advisors. And at no point does he come out and say, hey, you know, we made a mistake with Flynn, we should have listened to Obama, we should have done more vetting. At no point does he recognize that there was a mistake by the Trump administration. It's all Obama's fault that Donald Trump hired Mike Flynn, who just happened to be working for the Russian and Turkish governments.